Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So problem is swap nodes in pairs. A uh, very easy problem. We are given a linked list. We have to swap every two adjacent nodes and then return its head. You must solve the problem without modifying the values in the list node. Only the node themselves may be changed. That is, we have to see, we have to swap every adjacent node. So 1 and 2 are adjacent. So they will get swapped and we will get 2, 1. Then, so these are uh, one pair. Then we have this pair. So 4, 3 and 4 are there. We will uh, swap them and we will get 4, 3. Right. So the final link list will be like this. And uh, we cannot do like we have to modify. We have to like bring this entire node to over here. We just cannot like change the values. Like uh, we are just simply changing this to this 1 to 2 and this 2 to 1. We cannot do that. We have to bring, we have to modify the entire node. We have to bring the entire node here. So this is entire node. We cannot change simply the value. Right. So over here it's written now without modifying the values. You have to uh, change the entire node. Like the position of the node only we have to change. Like this whole node should come here. Right. So let's see how we can approach this problem. So see this test case is given. This test case is given. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what we have to do is we have to swap the adjacent uh, nodes, right? These are adjacent. Output for this will be what? 2, 1. Then it will be 4, 3. 2 and 1 are swapped. 3 and 4 are swapped. 4, 3. And then 5 and 6 are swapped. So, this will become 6, 5. So, the final linked list will be like this. Output will be this. Right. So let's see how we can approach this problem. How we can approach it. So see. Mm, let's do one thing. Let's erase this. So we have to. We are doing the same thing. If you see. We are swapping these two. We are swapping these two. We are swapping these two. So same work we are doing again. So, what we can do is, we can divide this problem in this way. That this is the first pair we need to swap. Now, this is the first pair which we need to swap. And then there are the rest of the pairs. So, what we can do is, we can work on this pair. And we can ask recursion. We can ask recursion to do the rest of the work for us. Rest of the work. Rest of work. That is, we will pass this this link list. We will just uh, we will work on the first two nodes because we have to swap them, and the rest of the link list we will pass to the recursion. So recursion will do the work for us. So what we want, we want uh, that every node, every adjacent nodes are swapped. So recursion will do that for us. We will not we will not worry how recursion will do and what how it will happen we will just assume for now we will assume that recursion will give us the result recursion will give us the result so what recursion will give recursion uh, this 6 and 5 will be swapped 5 and 6 so 6 5 this will be there and this 3 and 4 so 4 and 3 this will be the recursion result so this 4 node this 4 node is returned from recursion right now what are our task is our task is to swap these two nodes that is we have to do we have to swap them so what we will do is we will make them two and one we will make them like this and then this whatever this four is uh, return uh, recursion will return this four's address four nodes address so we will attach that with ones this ones next so then they will get attached so what we see what we are doing is we are passing 
this whole link whole link list to recursion recursion will give us the head of the new link list this is the final link list after see this is the final link list na after uh, swapping so recursion will give the head this is the head of the new link list new link list so this head we will connect it with the so uh, we will do this swapping so this we will work this is our work so this we will swap and the this one's next we will connect with this new head of the link list this one so then see we got the output link list so this approach we will be following right so now there are few things which we need to see how we can do so see passing to recursion is simple this thing we will pass to recursion that simple right now the question is that how we will swap these two how we will swap these link, uh, two nodes this is the work which we have to do na so how we will do this see let me raise this so swapping two nodes is similar to reversing them see we have to we have one and two right we have one we will just focus on this link list we will just focus on this link list one two because we, we have to work on these two nodes na so we will be focusing on these two only one two we have to convert them we have to swap them and make them two one so this is similar to reversing just reversing this link list we reverse this link list one and two so what will happen this one two will be reversed and it will change to two one if you if we reverse this and this is only we want na two one we want so whatever recursion will give us we will just attach that to one's next like this we will do right so see now now the question is how we can reverse a link list so if you are not clear uh, about how we can uh, reverse a link list then you can watch this part of the video and if you are if you know how to reverse a link list you can move to the coding uh, section uh, coding explanation so let's see how we can reverse a link list so this is a logic of reversing a link list uh, let's say we have this link list now which we need to reverse one and two so what we do is we take three pointers we take three variables pointers or three variables one will be next we can initialize it with null then one will be previous we will initialize it with null and current we will, uh, current we have which will be pointing to the head of the link list like this one so current is one now what we will do see we will follow these steps first we will follow these steps you will understand how it's working right we need to reverse this link list so see first of all what we will do we will store currents next what is currents next one's next is what two two will get stored in next so here two will come then we will go to the second step second step is this previous value will be assigned to currents next so currents next is what one one uh, is current currents next that is this one's next will be now null because previous is null so this link will be broken this link is broken now after that current's value will become previous so current is one so previous will become one and now current will become what next so next is two current will now become two so current is now at two right see this so like this is happening what is the final link list which we want we want like this na reverse after reversing so see this one null one this part we got now we just need to connect this two with one so see that that how we will do again we will run this loop so it will come again here so currents next what is currents next two is current right now currents next two's next is null so next will become null and then we will have um currents next previous will be assigned to currents next two's next is what two's next will become previous previous is what one so two's next will become one two's next will become one and then current will become previous so current is what two it will become previous uh, current a uh, value will be assigned to previous so previous will now be two and next will be assigned to current so next is null current will become null 
so see we have reversed the linked list now this is a reverse linked list this is a reverse linked list all right and we will stop this loop when current becomes null when current is null this thing this will run until current is not null while current is not null we will keep on doing this and once current is null we'll stop all right so see we have reversed this linked list so we have done the work which we have to do we have to reverse this path now we have to swap these nodes so we have swapped them so this is now right like this 2 1 null something like this and here what is there a uh, previous is here at 2 this is previous and uh, we have yeah this is right now the case now we will pass this rest of the linked list to recursion Lest, rest of the linked list to recursion we will pass right so we have passed the will pass to the recursion and we will get the new linked list head from this uh, recursion result so let's say we get four so this four needs to be connected to one na? that is one's next should be four what is one here we have not stored one anywhere one is not anywhere na? but one is the one was the head of the linked list so what we will do we will write heads next heads next will be what Head, head is one, na, so one's next will be a, uh, will be what? Recursion result. So whatever recursive call will return, we will store that in heads next. That is one's next. So this way we will be getting our output link list. This one. All right. So I hope you understood how this is working. How this approach is working. Let's see the code once. Better understand and also I will highly recommend once dry run also the code because uh, then only you will understand how recursion is working so see this is the function which is given to us and head of the linked list is given so we have taken three pointers these are to reverse the linked list so to swap the front node so current is head next is null and previous is null and count is equal to zero we have taken because we have to swap these two nodes first two nodes so we have taken uh, count so that we stop when we got two nodes. We have to reverse th those two nodes only. Rest of the reversal recursion will, uh, swapping recursion will do. So while current is not null and count is less than two, just keep on reversing. As we were doing here. Here we were doing reverse, uh, reverse uh, we were reversing these two nodes. Na? And after that, what we will do is, uh, we will, this next is not equal to null. If next is not equal to null, what we will do we will pass this next this next in the uh, over here see next will not be null here next will be not null i have by mistakenly written it next will be what next will be current's next so current when is two two's next was three na so here three will come in the next previous will be uh, current will be null only but three, next will be three so here uh, swap pairs three will be passed because we uh, discussed now that rest of the linked list will pass to recursion. So this 3 is stored where? It's in 2's next. 2's next. So that is stored in this next variable. So that's why we are passing next here. And whatever recursion will give us, that we will store in what? Heads next. Heads next. If you do not write this if condition here, if you do not write this if condition now, then you have to write over here that if head is equal to null that way you can handle it you can just return null like this right like that you can do either you can just check over here only that if yeah, this is like next is not null then only just if it is not null then only pass it and why we are returning previous because see previous will be at the new head this two we have to return now. so this is previous is pointing to the new head of the linked list so that's why we're returning previous so i hope you understood the problem and the approach time complexity is o of n where n is the uh, number of nodes in the linked list this while loop will be constant only because every time we are just uh, running it two times 
and uh, space we are not using any extra space apart from the recursive stack so uh, if you are not in, if we are not including uh, considering recursive stack then it's constant but if we are uh, like taking it then it will be o of n space also so i hope you understood the problem and the approach if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video